Hey guys, Rob here, Urban Survival Tactics. Today I thought I would do a, a review on, the, I think it's Coughlin's 180 Sierra saw. Uh, saw has a couple nice features. It's fairly cheap. It's got this cool lockback action. Right now, I'm going to attempt to cut through this tree. The uh, Coughlin saw has a... Uh, the, the teeth are made for a draw cutting rather than like forward cutting when you're pulling back that's when it cuts it doesn't seem to get snagged hardly ever the teeth keep themselves pretty clean the handle is like a polymer composite pretty cheap plastic handle but it's light I like it. I think it's a great addition. It cuts like a beast. The only time you get snagged is when you're trying to cut a whole tree like I am. I'm gonna reposition my foot on the other side here. There we go. Clean cut all the way through. Doesn't even leave any ripping on the other end. That one was a thicker one, that's not a two-incher. That's another, that's about three, three and a half. That's not bad at all for like one or two minutes, if that. And turn this into a kooksa. Okay, so overall, the Coglins 180 Sierra saw. I think it's a fine cutting tool for the price. Definitely cuts through, I mean, I've only been here 10 minutes and I cut a four inch thick tree and made two logs. Yeah, I like it. I think it's a good, good tool to have. Like I said, it's got this cool guard here to lock it open. And when you're done, you just flip it up, take the hinge off here, and it closes. Got a hole for a lanyard. Not very big. It's maybe a total of eight inches, maybe seven and a half. Good tool to have for your bushcraft kit or survival kit. This one here is about a two inch log. I'll do a quick demo. What was that? 13 seconds? Yeah. Thank you, hope you enjoyed the review.